In this lesson, we're going to introduce a way to use a random number generator in your programs. To make our programs a little more interesting, we can use random numbers. For example, one reason we might want to have a random number is to simulate rolling dice, or picking a random card, or even encryption, and other types of programs that require randomized behavior. But there is a secret. Random numbers from computers are not actually random. They are what's called pseudo-random, which means they look like they're random numbers and they act like they're random numbers, but they are actually coming from an algorithm from a computer. For our purposes, we don't need to know how the random numbers are being generated. All we need to know is that we can use them. To use random values in JavaScript, we can create a randomizer. We can generate a random integer by using the nextInt method. If we want a random integer, we write randomizer.nextInt followed by a pair of parentheses. Between the parentheses, we write two values. These values are the start value and the end value. When the randomizer runs, it will return a random number between the start and the end value, inclusively. Inclusive means we include the edges. We can also generate a random float or decimal number by using the next float method. If we want a random float, we write randomizer.nextfloat followed by a pair of parentheses. Same as before, between the parentheses, we write two values. This is the start value and the end value. When the randomizer runs this time, it will return a random float between the start and end value. All right, let's see what this looks like in the editor. In this program, we're going to simulate rolling a six-sided die. Let's start with a variable. We'll let roll equal the result from the randomizer. So remember, randomizer gets a capital R. And we don't want decimals, we want just integers. So we're going to put dot next int. And the die is 1 to 6, so we'll put 1 as the starting value and 6 as the ending value. And remember, this is inclusive, so this means you can roll a 1 and you can roll a 6, not just numbers that are in between, but all of them. Now let's print the result of this randomizer to the screen. So we'll use console.log, you rolled a and a space. And then we'll add in the variable that is going to store the result of the randomizer. And then lastly, let's make sure we call this main function. All right, let's see what happens. We rolled a five, and if you click run again, we'll roll different numbers from one to six. Now let's say this was one of those bigger dies that go up to 12. We can change that right here, and now when we hit run, we'll get larger numbers. There we go, there's the larger number. <laughs> it's randomized, you never know what's gonna pop up. Now this wouldn't make sense as a die, but let's say we wanted decimals, we wanted floats instead. So what we can do is we can change next int to next float. And even though this doesn't make sense, let's see what happens. Oh, now we get these decimal values. All right, well now it's your turn to try this out.